So you got your handout on how to sign up for your Classcraft account. Let me show you what that looks like. So step one, it says to go to game.classcraft.com slash student. Now you can open up Chrome and type that right in. Make sure you spell it right. And it'll take you to the page where you're going to set up your account. So let's see how long it takes to load. That wasn't very bad. Okay, now if you already have an account, because you created one in one of my other classes, you're going to log in here and then use your existing account to add the new class. Uh, but we're going to start with a fresh account. So let's do sign up with Google. And you're going to put in the student code that you have on your sheet. Let me put mine in. Make sure you get it right. And then start. Now you have to sign up, not sign in. So then you're going to uh, use your school Google account. Use your school Google account because this is a school activity. So I'm going to click on use another account and type in my school account. Now for you, it's your graduation year, whether it's uh, 25 or 23. Uh, your first initial dot last name at student.csd49.org. Then you go to next and type in your password. And if you forgot your password, I can get that for you, no problem. And then it's going to say, Classcraft wants to access your Google account. Go ahead and allow it. It's all right. It's a good thing. And let it work its magic. And it continues with the student sign up. And after that, you should be in. It's that simple. But the trick is to make sure you're not signing in, but you're signing up. Uh, if you're signing in for the first time, you have to sign up first. And that's where the mistake is. Now, the first choice you have to make is to choose your character. As mentioned in class, make sure you've talked to your team. Because if you have a group of all warriors, you can all defend yourselves, sure. Uh, but when you run out of energy, there's no mage to give you AP. And after you take damage, no healers to heal you. So a balance is really helpful to survive all the random events that are going to come your way. So if you're going to be a mage, click your mage. Go to next and start setting it up. Let's see, I'll select this. And the, choosing your first power is important. I mean, sure, you can choose teleport and be all happy when you trade places with somebody else in the classroom. But then when your team needs mana, ooh, you can't give them any because you don't have that power. Plus, notice, mana transfer gives you XP. This is a way to level up. You help your team, you level up faster. So if I were you, I'd start with the collaborative power first. And then this part, I gotta get this for you, so I'll, I'll tell you in class how I'm gonna do that. Because I gotta figure out how to get you uh, done with this. Then it says you're almost done. You have to pick your birth year. So let's say you were born in 2000 six your July baby and there make sure you put your birth date there so they know if you're 13 and under or 13 and over and look at that I just earned XP for signing in correctly then you start playing now once you get here you got to wait till your teammates are all signed up uh, and uh, you can start earning XP and gold on random events and doing good work in class. 
that's it. There you have it. Enjoy Classcraft.